when you think about what's happened since the last COP meeting, and we're just yeah. weeks away now from the COP meeting yeah. in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, yeah. um, what is the, in your mind the yeah. greatest challenge uh, going forward? Because there was a lot of backlash following the last yes. COP meetings. You know, yeah. A lot of folks yeah. were very unhappy with how they went and how they were perceived. Yeah. What do you think is going to... We need to be careful that um, because conversations are happening that it's all about energy, energy, energy. But it's really important we don't lose context of the economic growth and the climate as well within that. So as I said in the beginning, we see them as three pillars that have to work together. And uh, so it's been all the conversations right now. I mean, you've seen countries that have changed the way I mean, going back to, to, to Germany, they wanted yeah. to phase out coal, they wanted to stop nuclear. Grand but ambitions. Yeah, and they've realized that we need more time. We need more time, challenges have come, and so we need to kind of, kind of if you imagine water flowing down and you, you put a stone in it, the water will find its way around it, but still head to the same direction. Yeah. So we're getting a lot of distractions, and I think what's really important at COP to kind of bring the focus also back to the climate agenda as well mm -hmm. and highlighting how they go hand in hand and how it's really important that economic growth, energy security and climate action must be worked at together. And yeah. I think this this will be a very important stage to, to bring that those three elements back. Um, I also think um, this COP is a, an implementation COP and that's how the Egyptians want to uh, push it forward and you know we support them in that because we want COP27 to be a success um, to make sure that COP28 also runs from COP26, 27, 28. We've basically got two COPs now in the region which really is a great thing for us in the region to kind of get that climate agenda going and, and talking and you know as we are in the country now pursuing or developing the net zero strategic initiative you know we're having the conversations on a sectoral level looking at the different priority sectors that are big emitters for example the industry power and mm -hmm. water and talking to them about this pathway we know that where we want to be by 2050 but it's the how how we how are we going to get there because we do realize if we don't do that extra bit of work Yes. We won't reach net zero. It's not a. It's not something that's going to come with the initiatives that are there right now. We need to go that extra step. Yeah. But where is it that we need to be putting more finance? And where is it? What? Where are the gaps? Because when we look at all sectors, we can see where we are and what are the proven technologies in each of these sectors. Yeah. Are these technologies something that will be able to scale up in 10 years, or is it something we can do now? So each one has its own challenges, and yeah. this is what's happening right now in the UAE.